Hello and welcome to the session. Let's work out the following problem. It says, Kellogg is a new cereal formed of mixed of bran and rice that contains at least 88 grams of protein and at least 36 milligrams of iron. Knowing that bran contains 80 grams of protein and 40 milligrams of iron per kilogram and that rice contains 100 grams of protein and 30 milligrams of iron per kilogram, find the minimum cost of producing this new cereal. If bran cost rupees 5 per kilogram and rice cost rupees 4 per kilogram. So let us now move on to the solution. Now we are given that the mixture is made up of bran and rice. So let the mixture contains x kg of bran and y kg of rice right therefore x kg of will cost rupees 5x as we are given that bran cost rupees 5 per kilogram so x kg of bran will cost rupees 5x and similarly y kg of rice will cost rupees 4y as rice costs rupees 4 per kilogram. So y kg of rice will cost rupees 4y. Now we have to minimize the cost of producing the new cereal. That means we have to minimize the total cost. Therefore the total cost Say Z is equal to 5X plus 4Y. We have to minimize Z is equal to 5X plus 4Y. Now, we are given that this mixture must contain at least 88 grams of protein. Right? And we know that bran contains 80 grams of protein and rice contains 100 grams of protein. Right? And as we are given that the mixture must contain at least 88 grams of protein. So, the first constraint is 80x plus 100y should be greater than equal to 88 as we have given that bran contains 80 gram of protein and rice contain 100 gram of protein so 80x plus 100y is greater than equal to 88 as the mixture contain at least 88 grams of protein this is subject to the constraint Now, the second constraint is that the mixture must contain at least 36 milligrams of iron. And we are given that the bran contains 40 milligram of iron and rice contains 30 milligrams of iron. So, we have 40 x plus 30y should be greater than equal to 36. So we have to minimize the cost subject to these two constraints. And also x is greater than equal to 0 and 
y is greater than or equal to 0. Now we will draw the lines corresponding to the constraint 80x plus 100y greater than or equal to 88 and 40x plus 30y greater than or equal to 36. So we have drawn the lines. This is the line corresponding to the inequality 80x plus 100y is equal to 88 and this is the line corresponding to the constraint 40x plus 30y greater than or equal to 30. Now we have to shade the region corresponding to both the constraint. Now the constraint is 80x plus 100y greater than or equal to 80. So we will take any point not lying on the line. 80x plus 100y is equal to 80 and we will see whether that point satisfies this inequality or not. If that point satisfies this inequality, we will shade the region which contains that point and if that point does not satisfy the inequality, we will shade the region which does not contain that point. Now the point 0, 0 does not lie on this line. And we see that if x is 0, y is 0, then the inequality becomes 0 plus 0 greater than or equal to 88. That means 0, 0 does not satisfy this inequality. So we will shade the region for this inequality which does not contain the point 0, 0. That means this is the region which does not contain the point 0, 0 for the inequality 80x plus 100y greater than or equal to 88. Similarly, we will put x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. Here in the inequality 40x plus 30y greater than or equal to 36 and we will see that this also does not satisfy the inequality. So we will shade the region which does not contain the point 0, 0. So this is the region and we see that this is the common region for both the constraints or the inequalities. Now by the corner point method or the fundamental extreme point theorem, the optimal solution to a linear programming problem, if it exists, occur at an extreme point of the feasible region. Now this is the feasible region and the extreme points are 0, 1.2, 0, 0.6, 0, 0.4, 1.1, 0. So, we will find the cost at these corner points and we will see which is the minimum. So now we find z equal to 5x plus 4y at the point 0, 1.2. means x is 0, y is 1.2, so this is 5 into 0 plus 4 into 1.2, so this is 4.8, so the cost is 4.8. Now we find the cost when x is 0.6 and y is 0.4. So z at the point 0.6.4. The z is 5 into 0.6 plus 4 into 0.4. So this is 3.0 plus 1.6. So this is 4.6. Now we find z at the point 1.1 1. 1 and 0. So z is equal to 5 into 1.1 1. 1, that is x is 1.1 1. 1, and 4y, y is 0. So this is 5.5. Hence we see that the cost is minimum when x is 0. 0.6 and y is 0. 0.4 and the minimum cost is 4.6. Hence, the minimum cost is rupees 
when x is 0.6 kg and y is 0.4 kg. So, the minimum cost is rupees 4.60. So, this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.